situation is perfect for him also to fight for the stage. Yeah, we ended up in that group of five and it was full commitment because we really wanted that group to go to the finish. Hypercam 17 is a host of chasers caught up on the second climb. Plenty of big guns including Dan Martin, Warren Bargill, Pierre Rollant and Danny Martinez. We'd really gone full gas for that first hour and we were all a bit cooked, you know, but yeah, we kept believing and we tried to recover and eat as much, eat and drink as much as possible. And I came to the realisation that it was going to hurt whatever, however slowly I rushed to the finish, so I might as well get it over as fast as possible, you know, but... Be smart and trust, okay? Everybody's fuck, long day, hard day, come on down, you can make it, eh? Today, the level of the world away was very, very high. We, 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 we count like 10 possible winners here, you know, because most of them they won important things, that's why. We were to trust or we had the confidence to have better legs in the last uh, two climbs. But uh, he gave everything. I think he, he gave everything. We see that he's given everything, nothing to nothing to say. Yeah, I was thinking about it. That's really the, the hardest I've gone for probably a year since it's all last year, you know. It's like, that's why I continued all the way to the line, just to, to really push myself and empty the tank completely. And then hopefully the legs are, are getting better. We'll try again Sunday and of course we have more opportunities next week. It's really, today was really a personal victory because I, yeah, exactly four weeks ago today, I remember walking in the airport with a team doctor <laughs> and I couldn't I could barely even walk and I couldn't pick up my kids when I got home and you know it was really riding the Tour de France was really uh, seemed a long way off